Well, winter is finally around the corner. Um, this is my absolute most favorite time of the year. I'm a very, very hot natured person. And just the fact that Mother Nature's AC is kicking on full blast 24 seven is awesome to me. So, um, hope you enjoyed some of those clips. That was a little morning walk that I had today, um, with my dog and man, I just love it. Uh, the, the trees are starting to change colors their leaves are starting to fall off. And, uh, there's just a constant, uh, chilly breeze in the air. So, um, what I wanted to do today was just kind of give my personal experiences with a, a product that I've had for a little while now and uh, not by choice. Um, I got to put it to the test and see uh, I had uh, an accident with uh, with my knife while I was working with some wood and just whittling around and had a pretty bad cut on my hand. And so um the first day I didn't happen to take any pictures or any, uh, any video or anything of it, but, um, you know, by the next day or overnight, uh, you know, I had the purple, you know, blue bruising that you get when you have a deep cut. And I had, uh, you know, just, it, it was just pretty nasty looking. It wasn't quite bad enough to get stitches, but, uh, it was pretty bad. And so, after um, a full day of having it covered up with the bandage and stuff, and it finally uh, started kind of closing up a little bit and not, and not you know, bleeding quite as bad, I started applying uh, the first aid balm by Dragonfire Tinderbox. Um, I got it this past July at the Pathfinder Gathering from Daryl. And um, I've used it a couple of times for different little nicks and cuts and stuff or like different things on my arms where, you know, I've gotten thorns or whatever, but, um, nothing deep and, you know, pretty profound to where, uh, I could really see a difference. So I've kind of logged it with pictures. Uh, I know that's not as good as video, but, um, just whenever I've thought about it, I've tried to take a picture of what it looks like. And this is going on about, uh, six or seven days now of putting it on a couple of times a day. Um, and it, it, it really has made a huge difference guys. Uh, so I, I just wanted to do a quick little, um, my opinions kind of thing on, on this product. It's really good. Um, the ingredients are on the back of it. I'll get some close up shots of it. Uh, I'll let you know what the, uh, ingredients are on the back and, uh, then I'll put a link to his website in the description box. Um, just something else to, to keep with you. I normally keep something like that in my kit, you know, like a, a balm that has uh, antiseptic properties or uh, wound care properties. And this was something that I had and I hadn't really gotten to use the way I wanted to. And when this happened, uh, I, I just didn't feel like putting a band-aid and neosporin and all that on it and doing that whole spill so after you know a night of it being covered up with the band-aid and the next day I saw that it, it wasn't reopening um, I just started applying this and left it to air dry and all of that so uh, let me get a close-up on what it looks like now so when this first happened I had all kinds of blue bruising and stuff here and over here. What happened is my knife slipped and went right into it. And you can still see it's kind of swollen, but uh, for the most part, I mean, it. it I've got some redness around it. Uh, it's not that sensitive to the touch, so I don't think it's any kind of infection, but that's what it looks like. Let me show you the tin, guys. All right, so here's the tin that it comes in. As you can see, it's it's really big. Um, you get a lot, uh, a lot of bang for your buck, and it is a screw top. So with Daryl being the firebug that he is, you can already assume what you can use this for once this product is up. Here's the uh, ingredients. A lot, a lot of good stuff, and. Uh, 
here's what it looks like. So it's not a, uh, it's not greasy. It settles in pretty quick. Um, it's just hard enough that you can get enough on your hand to, uh, to work with, but it's not just so soft that you'll just get big globs of it. And, uh, it just rubs right in and will settle in pretty quick. And it's just really good stuff. It smells good. And it really has, it really has sped up the healing time on this cut faster than, than typical antibiotic or Bactine or anything that I've used before. So give it a, uh, give it a look if it's something you're interested in. Um, you know, really good stuff. And then he's also got tons of his, uh, of his tinder and fire prep material too. So have a good one guys. Thanks for watching.